Okay, today we're going to be learning about tabular integration. This is a, a different approach to integration by parts. Right? So the first step in doing tabular integration is say for example we have two distinct functions. Integral of f of x and g of x. F of x and g of x are two different uh, distinct functions. So the way we use tabular integration is one of the functions, let's say in this case f of x, is a function where it can be taken the derivative of multiple times until it reaches zero. And g of x can be a function where it can be continuously integrated. So let me give you an example. For example, f of x can be equal to f of x can be equal to let's say x cubed, right? And then we can say g of x can be equal to e to the x. So if you look at x cubed, we can continuously take the derivative of x cubed until it eventually reaches zero. However, for e to the x, we can continuously integrate e to the x, and it will still remain as e to the x. So, now, once we have this set up, we can let's set up a quick teacher detail. So we can have f of x, which we're going to be taking the derivative of, and we're going to have g of x, which, will be, which we are going to be continuously integrating. So let's go. <laughs> so first we're gonna have x cubed and e to the x. Then we're gonna take the derivative of f of x. That's gonna be three x squared. And then we're gonna integrate e to the x, which is just gonna remain e to the x. So we're gonna go down until the derivative of f becomes zero. So three x squared, then it's gonna be six x, then it's gonna be six, and then it's going to become zero. And the integral of e to the x is going to stay the same. Now, here's where the actual integration happens. So what we do now is we just draw uh, diagonal lines from the, from, the derivative, from, the, from the first function to the second integral, like, like so. Now, this diagram will show that we are multiplying these two functions together. Sec the, the, the first integral and the first function, second derivative, and the third integral. We're going to be essentially just multiplying them together. But what makes this integration so unique is that we're alternating it, essentially. So this is going to be, when we multiply it, this is going to be a positive. This is going to be a negative, positive, and negative. So this function will become x cubed e to the x, positive. This will be 3x squared e to the x, negative. So what does this all look like in the end? Essentially, it's going to be an integral of x cubed e to the x equal x cubed e to the x minus 3x squared e to the x plus 6x e to the x minus 6e to the x and of course plus c don't ever forget the c here you have it tabular integration in its use so, what have we learned? We have learned that tabular integration is another way where we can integrate, another way of integration by parts. It's where we can take two different distinct functions, such as f of x and g of x, and we can integrate them by first finding a function among these two that we can continuously uh, take the derivative of until it reaches zero. In this case, we used x cubed. And then, we can find another function among this, such as g of x, which can be continuously integrated, such as e to the x. And what we did was that we multiplied diagonally in this t-chart and using alternating signs. By doing this, we were able to find the derivative, find the integral 
of the fun of the above function in a quick and very easy way. Thank you.